Hey guys, um, here's a base, it's almost got Max Town Hall 9 defenses. It looks like a horrible base set, but don't let it fool you. I've said this many, many times. I wish I did not have to make this video. Um, this base should be auto 3 starred by any Town Hall 9 on your team, but it can lull you in to an easy, oh, okay, no spaces, I'm just going to hog through this, and you can't at Town Hall 9. You have to do things in, in steps. Um, you know, if you wanted to suicide your king in, okay, but what are you going to do about the CC? This CC has a hound, and this is why it's important. If the CC has a hound, pull it out of there, get it way out of there, let your troops wreck this base. If you don't, you can get lulled into a false sense of security and get wrecked. So I'll show you a plan that did not work, and then I'll show you why it's important to take these bases seriously. So my plan of attack is get that hound out of there, get your golems in, cut a funnel, and then I'm throwing a jump down over here, maybe over here, over here it doesn't matter it, the jump is to get to the queen get your troops into the core hopefully the king and then you're just hogging in from this direction throw your heels down at need be it is that easy it should be that easy but if you don't do it this way it doesn't turn out easy so here's a real quick replay um you know no, not bashing this guy great guy in our clan but you know if you don't work this base right and you don't deal with that hound it can and will end in failure and uh let's just watch it out and you know go through this real quick see what i'm talking about so he starts cutting cutting his funnels on the outside to get to that queen you know he knows queen's the goal but if you can get the queen and the king without losing your golems much better. So one golem starts getting wasted. The other golem's real far out right now. He throws in the jump to move his troops, but his whiz are spread out real far. You know, and they're coming in. There's now, there's a hound to deal with. All the defenses are raining down on his golems, heroes, whiz. If he would have pulled that hound out first and maybe got it further out of the map, better, because now everything's down. And it's just the whiz dealing with it. Now there's all those pups to deal with. Or Queen's got to deal with them all herself. In comes his hogs. A bunch of them get flipped out. In comes his next hogs. Ouch, he found a big bomb. Didn't get a heal in time. His hogs are losing health. He's got one last heal left. Hopefully it can save the day. But he's got that king to deal with. He's got all those skellies to deal with. And now there's a random Tesla in the corner. Hogs hit it. Goodbye, Hogs. These bases can fool you. That guy set up the Tesla in the corner with a bomb. Probably on purpose. Make the Hogs run out there and get killed. So it worked. These bases can lull you into that false sense right there. And wreck. So on the other hand, I got similar troops here, but I brought a healer with archers to take the hound out of the equation. Like I said, I'm just going to put my jump next to these heroes, you know, over here, jump in so I can get the queen, hopefully the king, handle out this outside defense, take care of business. So first thing I do is I'm just going to jump a hog in. All right. Got the hound pulled out, bringing the hound to the corner. Here's one thing I thought is weird. Um, in the past, I don't know if they changed this on purpose, but you had to have two troops in the exact spot for the healer to heal it. Two archers, at least. You'll notice that archer's just healing one, or the healer's healing one archer. So don't know if they changed the AI on that. I wouldn't bank on it. But now I come with my golem. I set him up in the corner. Tesla pops up. No worries. Throwing two whiz to take care of it. Oh, did not know there was going to be a bomb there, though. Didn't even see it till after the attack was over, to be honest. But that golem's in. My whiz are cleaning out some outside trash. I notice now I'm missing a few whiz. Don't know where they went, so bringing in a few backups. 
Down goes my jump. You can see I'm aiming my heroes at that queen. But I have a backup plan hoping they'll jump to that king too. So down goes the queen. My golems are inside. My heroes are doing their biz. Yeah, Alright, whatever. Golems are tanking. Time for me to go to work. In comes my giants. In comes a couple packs of hogs. In comes some more hogs as those defenses turn. Down goes my first heal. Bonus, my queen actually turned around. Took care of the king. So now I have one less thing to worry about. Hogs are mopping up. In comes a couple more heals for them. They're marching in a straight line across the base, just like I like. Last heal goes down, and look at the difference. Look at that huge pack of hogs. I even used a healer, archer, so I had way less hogs to begin with, but look at the difference in the pack. Both heroes are still alive. Pack's cleaning. They find a couple bombs, but it doesn't matter. Look at how huge that pack is. And I still got some golemites alive. So that's the difference, guys. Take these bases seriously. Get that hound out of there. You don't have to deal with it. Especially do not deal with the hound when you're inside defensive fire. But I uh, hope you guys like it. Enjoy the video. And take those horrible looking bases seriously. Plan them right. I'll see you guys next time.